Hey there! If you're here, chances are you've heard about the WhatsApp API but aren't quite sure what it's all about. No worries, you're in the right spot because today, we're going to break down the main differences between the WhatsApp business app and the WhatsApp API to help you figure out which one suits you best. We're talking bulk campaigns, number of users limitations, chatbot and auto replies, integrations, and of course, pricing. But first, what is WhatsApp API? As we all know, WhatsApp is the number one messaging channel worldwide. The WhatsApp business app was a hit for smaller businesses with features like limited broadcast, few auto replies and WhatsApp catalog. But it fell short for the more advanced businesses that want to offer a more professional customer service experience over WhatsApp and use it as a marketing channel for campaigns and automations. That's where the WhatsApp business API platform came in 2019 to breach that gap. Let's start with customer service features. But before I want to clarify one last thing, while WhatsApp offers the application of WhatsApp business ready to use, it only provides lines of code when it comes to WhatsApp API without the interface or the app. That's why many WhatsApp partners like Business Chat have built solutions over WhatsApp API to make it accessible to teams and businesses without technical skills. In this video we will try to cover the features most providers offer, however, there might be exceptions. Now let's get back to the WhatsApp API customer service features. When it comes to customer service, WhatsApp Business App is a standalone application that allows only one user per WhatsApp number, in addition to basic messaging features like greeting and away messages and quick replies you can use to answer repetitive questions. While you can work around the one user limitation by having one agent on desktop and another on mobile, it gets harder as you get more incoming conversations and as you try to monitor your team's performance. With WhatsApp API there are no limits to the number of agents that can operate on a single WhatsApp number. All your customer service team can share a team inbox, and most good WhatsApp API solution providers offer advanced customer service features like a chatbot to handle frequent questions 24-7, conversation routing and reports about your team's performance and customers' satisfaction levels. Marketing campaigns When it comes to marketing, WhatsApp business has a limited marketing feature called broadcast lists, where it allows you to send a single message to a list of 256 people all at once with the condition that the contacts of this list have your number saved to their phone which is not ideal for your promotional campaigns and product launches so if you decide to switch to whatsapp api based solution most providers will allow you to send unlimited number of marketing campaigns to all your contacts and like any other platform you should be aware of spamming your contacts to keep your numbers reputation at a healthy level a very important thing to note is that some unofficial providers that you can easily spot will promise unlimited campaigns but will eventually cause your whatsapp number to get banned they use an illegal workaround that activates the service by asking you to scan a QR code. So keep in mind, if they ask for a QR code scan they are an unofficial solution and you are better off not dealing with them. E-commerce One of the things that makes WhatsApp API different from WhatsApp Business App is the ability to integrate with other softwares like an e-commerce platform. This allows you to send automated messages based on triggers like someone who abandoned their shopping cart or someone who submitted a form and many important automations to help you grow your business. It also allows automated transactional notifications. Like order status updates and cash on delivery confirmation and even sending an invoice after someone places an order from your website. Reporting Another advantage of the WhatsApp API is that it offers more comprehensive analytics and reporting capabilities. This means that you can track your WhatsApp marketing efforts and analyze the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns using the usual metrics like open rate and click rate and also few providers like Business Chat will even give you revenue attribution per campaign which allows you to effectively measure how much money you invest and how much you got in revenue from each bulk campaign and automation. Reporting doesn't stop at marketing, most WhatsApp API providers will give your important customer service metrics like average time to first answer and all that you need to uplift your team's service level. 
A useful metric we are proud of at Business Chat is your customer satisfaction indicator which is collected by having your chatbot send automatic survey to your customers at the end of each conversation to help you keep track of their perception of your efforts. Pricing In terms of pricing, the WhatsApp business app is entirely free to use. However, if your business needs can't be met with the limited features it offers, you will have to upgrade to WhatsApp Business API's paid service. The cost structure of WhatsApp Business API has two main components. WhatsApp fees and the solution provider subscription. We will take Business Chat as an example. The WhatsApp fees are associated with WhatsApp conversations and not messages. A conversation is a 24-hour window that starts when you send or receive the first message. Let's take an example. If you send a campaign today at 2 p.m., all the messages you exchange with one of the campaign receivers until tomorrow 2 p.m. count as one conversation. The pricing varies based on the country and the conversation type. Let's view each type and its cost for Saudi Arabia as an example. By the way I have included a link in the description that contains the pricing for each country, so if you are not from Saudi Arabia you can take a look there. The first type is marketing campaigns and automations. Whether it is a bulk campaign or an automation like abandoned cart notifications, this will cost 4 cents or 0.15 SAR. The second is customer initiated conversations. This is a conversation initiated by a website visitor for example and it is technically referred to as a service conversation. For Saudi Arabia it costs 2 cents or 0.07 SAR. The last type we will talk about are utility conversations which are related to transactional notifications like order status updates or sending an invoice to your customer after a purchase etc. Utility conversations cost 2 cents or 0.09 SAR. Now for business chats fees. They come in the form of a monthly or yearly subscription, which includes features like the customer service chatbot, a multi-agent inbox, unlimited marketing campaigns, e-commerce automations, 24-7 live chat and WhatsApp support, and more. The subscriptions start from $95 or 349 SAR per month. So, if WhatsApp business is not enough for you, check out businesschat.io, our WhatsApp-based customer service and marketing software, I have added the website link in the description. Thanks for tuning in.